So we're going to solve two equations with distributive parentheses on both sides of the equal sign. So the first thing you do for this one is to distribute the 5 to every term inside the parentheses. It's 5 times x first is 5x. Five, 5 times 3 is 15. If you do that one step, bring down everything else. Actually, we could just do distributive property on this side as well. That's 4 times x, and then 4 times, which would be a negative 4. So 4 times x is 4x, and then positive 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Now you see you have variables on both sides of the equal sign. So you have to get the variables, the x, together with the other x on the other side. So I'm going to try to take the smaller x, which is the 4x, and bring it over to the 5x. It's a positive 4x now, so I'm going to use inverse operations to subtract 4x from both sides. The 4x cancels, and you have 5x minus 4x is just 1x. You can just put x for that, and then just bring everything down, and that is a negative 16. So now you subtract 15 on both sides, and as we discussed in class, when you see negative 16 and negative 15, you add them and keep the sign. So that's negative 31. And that's your final answer for that one. For number six, again, distributive property, you have to get rid of the parentheses first. Two times x is 2x. Two times negative 7 is negative 14. Bring down the equal sign. Five times x is 5x. And then five times 2 is 10. Again, you have x's on both sides of the equal sign. I'm going to go for the smaller x and bring it over to the larger x. 2x minus 2x cancels. Bring down the negative 14. Bring down the equal sign. And 5x minus 2x is 3x. And I'm going to bring down the plus 10. So this might look a little bit confusing to you because it's, it's backwards. But we're going to leave it that way. Um, this plus 10 on the, on the right side has to be removed from that right side, and you're going to bring it over to the left using inverse operations. You pass in that equal sign. So negative 14 and a negative 10, again, same sign. So we're going to add them, keep the sign, and just bring down the 3x. Use inverse operations again to undo the multiplication, 3 times x. So the 3s cancel. The x comes down. And you have negative 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. And that's your answer.